Hello lovelies, welcome to today's video. Uh, so this is just a page in my 9 by 12 Dilutions art journal. And today I'm having a bit of fun with collage. So I'll get into that in a minute, but to start off I'm just going to apply um, some paint using my small brayer. Um, I really enjoy using my brayer to apply paint. I love the haphazardness of it and how you can still get some white space. And this is a colour combination I haven't used before. This is... What is this? This is laid back lilac and I don't know what color do it is it Calypso teal maybe? I think it's yeah Calypso teal. I'm fairly certain. I didn't actually look at the jar when I pulled the paint out. I just thought oh these will work nicely. So I've been doing a lot of art journal pages recently so um yeah bits and pieces. Honestly this started as a page in my brain dump journal and um, I was just playing with some paint because I find um it's very flimsy paper in my brain dump journal it's just a day-to-day -day journal and it's not mixed media paper so I have to I find I have to use things that won't go through like I can't use spray inks or certain kind of inks so I tend to use my oxide inks a lot and also paint because it doesn't leak through so that's where I got the idea for this color scheme from and I thought oh this might be a nice page to do in my art journal so I've brayed my paint down and then I'm going to just add a bit of oxide ink um, in black soot through uh, just a random stencil that I have. I'm pretty sure this is a case of craft stencil. I just like the, um, the marks on it, so the mark making aspect of it. And then oh, I, I love these makeup brushes. They're so much fun to use to apply ink. The great ink blending tools I've found. Haven't been game enough to try them with paint yet, so maybe that might be something new. And then because I wanted something more in my background, I just wanted a, a big, bold stencil. And I decided to go with the Dilusions um, Diamond in the Rough, I think it's called. But I didn't want to bring in any other colours. So I've stuck with the same colours that I started with and I'm just going back in with the Laid Back Lilac. So I've been really inspired by Diane's videos. Um, because we've all been stuck in lockdown, lots of artists have been doing um, videos online. And Diane started, Diane Reeverly started one called Day by Day, uh, Dilutions Day by Day. And it's just really fun to watch. Um, I like watching how she starts her pages with a brayer and a gel plate and her, you know, the way she puts her stencils down and things. But it's also the little bits that she does, like she goes around some of her stencils and things. And... I knew I wanted to do that with this diamond stencil because I really did just want to do something else in the background. I'm really enjoying um, drawing more on my pages, doing a bit more doodling. And that's where Diane is inspiring me a lot because she loves to doodle. She doodles a lot. I am still new to it, so I'm practicing a lot. Now, in the background, um, I would have liked to have used a paint pen, but it's still too wet and I know I would have killed it. So I just used my Stabilo Oil Pencil and I found that worked really well. Now, this is what I was excited about. I have loved using the Dilutions, um, the new Dilutions collage sheets, but what I love most is I love the way Diane, how she's put them together. Now, I can't find any videos about her process, but I, I'm pretty sure she does classes now. I think I'd love to do one of those classes one day, so maybe next time she comes back to Australia, I'll see if I can get into one. But um, while I love the, the collage sheets, they're already made for you, which is great. But when you're in a creative mood and you really want to do something like this yourself, I thought I might give it a go. I thought I might try and make my own little collage mess or mismatched image and then doodle on it as well. Now, that's the part I love that Diane does. I love how she makes them unique and makes them her own. And as you can see, if you have the collage sheets, which you would have seen, I've, I've used them in some past videos as well. She really does, the collage is only the first part. Making it all her own, using paint pens and things is is where the magic happens and what I love. So I really thought I'd, I wanted to give it a go. So when I wasn't feeling too creative, I decided to just go through some of um, some magazines that I had laying around. And in my little brain dump journal, I thought I might um, just stick a few collaged images in there, just small little ones, so I could practice my doodling around them and, you know, making them my own. And as I was doing that, that's where I got inspired to do this page. And I thought, I may as well try it in my art journal, so let's give it a go. And what did it for me was this big orange thing. I think it was ocean trout or something like that. Now I don't eat fish. So um, the fact that I saw this image and decided to use it, it was, when I saw it, I just thought it would be awesome because it's just this big orange blur behind. I thought this would make an awesome base for a face. 
So that's what I've gone and done. So I started out by just cutting out some random eyes and legs and mouths and things, things that caught my attention in this magazine. And I've cut them up and I just had a little pile on my desk. I didn't want to have too many because I knew I would really struggle. So I just went through and cut, you know, got a few images that appealed to me. And then on my art journal page, I've started with my big orange platter of whatever and I've gone from there so I decided to use this awesome set of eyes it was this really full page ad and um yeah then I was going to use a bottom half of a face but then I saw these lips and it just looked fantastic I, I just fell in love with the way this came together and I'm like oh okay so then I added some legs and we're good to go so now this is the part where I honestly didn't think I'd add to this video right away because I was still struggling with the doodling part and didn't think I could do it but I was just so inspired and I wanted to keep going so that's what I did so I just grabbed my paint pens and I've started now I started with the eyes now obviously I'm drawing a lot of inspiration from Diane and her collage pieces as well and I've seen her do this on a few of hers so I thought okay let's start here started with my black Posca paint pen but you couldn't really see it so then I went back in with a white gel pen and I was much happier um, I've doodled around the collage as I've stuck it down and then also around the eyes, the eye block, just to make it stand out more. And yeah, this is where I'm going to bring in my paint pens. I love my Posca paint pens. Um, that's what got me into wanting to start to doodle more because I just want to use them more. I love using them. I can't use them in my backgrounds as much because I'm very impatient. It takes me forever <laughs> to um, wait for something to dry and I really don't want to kill them. But it's the drawing and the doodling that I really want to learn to do more. So obviously the best way to learn something is to do it and to practice. So that's what I thought I'd do. So I just had some black pants that I'd used in this collage. So I've just gotten um, my lilac paint pen and drawn some lines on it just to go in with the background a bit. And then I used my white gel pen to do some little spots on my, uh, on my shoes. This isn't, um, this is very basic. This is the first time I've actually done this honestly I've used collage pieces before I've made the collage dolls but I've never actually um you know gone the next step and attempted to doodle on it you know like I've seen Diane do but I just love these images and I love the way Diane does it and I really wanted to give it a go so then I've got my bigger bolder black pen uh, to go around the orange platter of trout <laughs> and just to make it pop a bit more now when I saw this in the magazine, I just knew this would make a great base for a face. I knew it would be, make an awesome um, collage doll. And uh, even though like it had something in the middle as well, I knew covering it up, you wouldn't really be able to tell what it started as. And, and you can't. You can't really tell that this started as a platter of ocean trout or whatever. And then I'm going to come back in and um, doodle on it a bit more. So I'm just bringing in some black striped lines. Like I said, I'm new to this whole doodling thing and drawing, so I'm just, you know, just practicing. So I'm just using um, one of the Jane Davenport paint pens now, and I'm just drawing some black lines. And then once that's dry, I'm going to come in a bit more with um, my white gel pen. This is just a jelly roll pen, and it's the size 8. I find this one works the best for me. I'm not a fan of the 5. And um, the 10, while I love it, it doesn't seem to work for me a lot, but the 8 I find works great. So I've just outlined the, limp, the lips in a pink um, paint pen. I think it's a fluoro pink one. I wasn't really sure what to do with the lips if I wanted to do anything else. And I really was too scared of ruining this page. So I just leave it for now. But I am going around those black lines um, on my orange trout platter thingy uh, with my paint pen. And I'm just sort of doing like a fake stitch just to bring in a bit more doodling on those lines and a bit more interest. So I've got some more... Um, white lines and honestly I just wanted to keep drawing so yeah like I said this was all new to me but I really love how this page turned out um, I have another art journal page coming up later in the week and it was more it was actually done before I did this page when I attempted to um, make another collage paper doll and it didn't quite work as well I don't think it wasn't very um very creative but I did it literally right after I did a page using the um, Dilutions collage sheets and I wanted to put them together in a video so you can see uh, the difference in how I, you know, first started trying out this 
which I probably should have put up before I put this one up, but I just love this video so much and I love how this page turned out. I really couldn't wait to share it. So that's why this video is going up first, but I will show you, um, I'll link back to it when I post the second video. So now I'm just adding my quote, which is good old um, Delusions back chat. And that's going to be it for the page. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed doing it and I couldn't wait to share it with you. So thanks for watching and I'll be back real soon with a new video. Bye for now.